Well, I was down in the Keys this year. I had a little injury to start off the trip. A couple of you guys have noticed my bandaged knee on some of my other Keys videos. So we're gonna kinda go over what happened. We got out uh, in the Keys first day, unload the boat, we're excited, ready to go, you know, do stuff. We decided to go diving, so we head out to a spot, you know, where we catch yellowtail and stuff like that. It's kind of rough, and the current's going pretty quick, but it's not too bad. We're like, ah, we, we, can, we can handle it. Let's, you know, let's do this. As my dad puts out the anchor, fortunately, some of the rope, as we're coming back, gets tangled in the prop. Uh, my brother's in the water at this point. I'm geared up about to jump in. When it gets tangled in the prop, it flips the boat around. So now the current's coming at the back of the boat and waves are coming at the back of the boat. Now my dad tells me, and some of you may know, this is a good way to sink your boat. Because you got rope pulling down, pulling the back down, you got waves crashing over. My dad's trying to untangle it, and it's getting kind of serious. And finally he says, uh, we need to cut this, because you know, he's bouncing up and down, he just can't get to the props to get it untangled. So I throw off my dive gear, quickly jump in the water, grab the rope, pull out my dive knife, and start cutting away. I cut the rope loose, but unfortunately, you know, I'm floating there in the water, cutting it, and as a wave hits the boat, you know, the motors are tilted up some anyways, it, you know, pushes the boat up, the back of the boat up, and the prop hits my knee and cuts my knee. I'm like, oh, dang. Jump in the boat, you know, it's cut, bleeding, I'm like, oh man, I'm gonna need stitches. So my mom tells my brother, hey, get in the boat. Thankfully, the motor was off, but still, it cut my knee. So now the boat's free. We go pick up my brother. I'm like, hey, get in the boat. He's like, why we just got here? What are we doing? Jeremy cut his knee. We gotta go to the hospital. He's like, ah, yeah, yeah, I get in the boat. Let's let's go take Jeremy to the hospital. <laughs> you know, doctor finally sees me. You know, looks at my knee. Says we're gonna need stitches. <laughs> we're gonna need to get stitches. I'm like, okay, sure. And like, yeah, you're not gonna be able to get in the water for a week. Whoa, 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 what do you mean a week? I just got down here. I won't be here in a week. I'm like, hey, there's like flesh eating stuff, you know, germs. It'll get your knee. You could lose your knee, your whole leg, or die. Well, that sucks. So, I can't get in the water for a few days. But we still lost our anchor. And that's not good, because we usually find anchors. So the plan is, my brother and my dad are gonna go down and try to find it. So, since I'm stuck on the boat, my knee's wrapped up, my brother's gonna take it from here on what happened. We make our way down to about 80, 85 feet and just kind of start looking around. Now, this is the first time my dad's ever seen this area underwater. So, he's having a great time. He's seen all the mangrove and yellowtail and all that kind of stuff. And I'm looking around, I see our, I see a couple anchors and we've got this new lift bag. So, I hook them up to our lift bag and kind of drag it around with me. And we find one anchor, we find two anchors. As we're tracking or going around, kind of navigating a bit, I see our anchor and a bunch of rope with it. So we hook that thing up to the lift bag too. So we decided to try and start working our way back to our anchor, our spare anchor line. And that's what we do. Um, but we can't find it. We get a little, we got a little off coordination. Uh, Jeremy just does navigating, and I look out for the fish. And, so a couple new things at work, a couple glitches. Uh, so we have to kind of go up to the top. And this is when we learn our lift bag is slightly defective. If, you, if you've used the lift bag before, you know there's a, you fill it up with air and try and get it neutrally buoyant. And so it goes up with you at your same rate and there's a little purge valve on it so that as you release some of your air so you don't shoot up uncontrollably, you do the same in the lift bag too. So it doesn't shoot up uncontrollably. We're 90 feet, this looks like about 100 feet of rope or something. I think I can just take the rope and we'll get the lift bag later. So that's what I did. And that was kind of complicated and that wasn't very fun. That was a little bit stressful. And we've since altered that plan, but it's what I did. I uh, get to about two feet from the surface. We're working our way up. We get to our safety stop, 15 feet so far. So it's good, I still got rope, but you know, there's a current. So I'm trying to swim with the current so I don't run out of rope. And like I said, it's heavy. There's three anchors on it now. 
two feet from the surface, I get stuck. I run out of rope. And it's, you know, it's heavy. It's a lot of drag. So I'm kicking, trying to get up. I'm uh, at this point trying to kick up and inflate my BC so I float as much as I can. And it's inflated. I'm out there, but it's, you know, got these anchors on the bottom. So I'm like trying to stay up above the water. And my dad's signaling Jeremy to come around and grab us. And they come flying in. Not as fast as I would like them to, but, you know, when you're nothing seems that fast anyway but they do come and get in eventually and I'm uh, trying to hand them the rope and they're trying to get it up and they haul it in while we go around to the back and start jumping it finally they pop up like hey get over here quick I'm like oh that's something's wrong <laughs> that's just our luck so I quickly throw out our anchor ball take the boat run over there and like quick grab the rope so I go and I come up to them grab the rope they found our anchor and then some tie the rope up we get them on board start pulling up the rope and they done loaded up on the anchors so a bit of a rough dive for them you know trying to get those anchors and this first time they used our lift bag had some problems thankfully the rest of the trip went very well things got looking better I used skin shield duct tape and a bunch of other techniques to keep my knee dry and still go in the water so we made the best of a tough situation. Didn't like having to go to the hospital and get stitches and all that stuff. But we made it work. We had a good time. Hope you guys enjoyed the story. And we'll see you on more videos coming soon.